All right, so welcome to our lunchtime night hacking interview. With me, I have Werner Kyle and Anatole Finch. Trish. Trish. Yeah. Trish. Yeah, Trish. Like trash. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to chat a little bit about JSR's 354 and 363. So yeah. I, I, my um, JSR to real world lingo expertise is really poor. You're going to have to explain to me which JSR is which number. OK. You want first? Uh, OK, then start. The 354 is the one about money and currency. OK. Um, I knew the money and currency API. I didn't know which one that was. And what's 363? 363 is a new uh, units of measurement API for both ME and SE, since there were attempts uh, in J2ME in the past that didn't really go so well. And there was a one for SE that was stopped. And now we basically try to solve this dilemma by doing a new JSR for just uh, the new unified Java. So there's no ME and SE anymore. Cool. It's just one Java. Very nice. So um, what would you guys like to cover first? We have two JSRs. I don't know. Well, just do it numeric. So we numeric. start with the lower we'll, number. We'll start with 354. <laughs> Ascending. OK. So tell us a little bit about money into money to JSR. Yeah, basically, when you look at the JDK as of today, you have, of course, you have that currency class in Java util currency. But uh, if you want to use that in a more complex manner, for example, in a contextual way in, in, in the enterprise context, or adding additional uh, currencies, it's not that simple. Yeah. And when you're looking at monetary amounts at all, there is no abstraction for that. You can use big decimal, but you always have to take care that the currency is, is coming along with that number. So that's one thing that we try to tackle there. Uh, when you're looking at the decimal format, you have also some limitations. If you, for example, want to format Indian rupees, you will have mm -hmm. a problem because of the different grouping sizes. And uh, the third part, uh, which is covered in the JSR, then is the conversion aspects. When you have different currencies, how you can you uh, calculate uh, an amount in the other currency based on the, on the original currency. And uh, finally, then, uh, when covering the monetary amount, you also should have some, some uh, algorithmic interfaces for calculating, adding, subtracting, dividing, something like that. Yeah, yeah, all the convenience APIs, which yes. you, you would have to build yourself if it wasn't part of the exactly, yeah. JSR or yeah. JDK. Cool. That sounds awesome. How far along is it? Is it in the proposal stages, or do you have a reference implementation, or um, currently, basically, full, full test suite? No, um, <laughs> so currently we are working on the TCK. Oh. Reference implementation uh, is there. It's also downloadable and available from the Maven Central repository. Awesome. From the JCP aspect here, from the process side, we have passed successfully the public review. Mm -hmm. um, currently, we're doing another public review because we had some uh, significant changes during the first public review. And it is better for the community to have uh, um, a complete summarized state again before we go ahead. Yeah. But that it's already sent to, uh, to Oracle, so I, I assume that it will be published next day if it's not already done. Awesome. All right, so do you want to talk a little bit about the um, new unit of measurement, hmm? JSR? Yeah, so basically uh, the unit of measurement API is sort of in a broader scale, similar to money, but for different uh, Quantities, so you can use this uh, to convert temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius, which is probably a very popular example, or yeah. feet into meters. So, as as money so, is so a little more specific, accommodate when you us funky Americans currents. who still haven't converted to the um, the normal <laughs> standard measurements. Yeah, so it's, ma it's it's mainly for some of those countries. Uh, like uh, I think there's some Africa African country that hasn't done it, and then there's the United States, I guess. Yeah. Cool? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this chairs are, uh, there were two separate ones that didn't know about each other in the past. One was filed by Nokia, was called Sensor API, but it contains a certain uh, very minimalistic uh, definition of a unit. Mm -hmm. It wasn't very type safe. Of course, it was J2ME, so there were certain limitations. Then we proposed something for Java SE that at the time, because it we allowed it to be added to the platform, and there were a couple of uh, members of the EC at the time that thought, oh, Java is so big already, and they thought it was 
too specific. So for, for the desktop Java SE uh, roughly five years ago, they felt that there were not enough use cases to add this to the platform, so the JSR 275 was stopped. Yeah. Well, now everybody uh, is mad about the Internet of Things, and of course, what, what do most of those things uh, do? They measure something and then they send it over to, to another place where you may have a different uh, conversion uh, unit yeah, system. Yeah, so this is, this is perfect timing for getting involved in some of the new embedded standards which yep. are going through the, um, exactly. the Java community process. So this 363 is the first, uh, whatever you want to call it, but it's portable. It is not, uh, so the old uh, rift between uh, filing a JSR for ME or SEEE -E no longer exists, and this is the first uh, JSR that is officially filed for Java Embedded, but both ME and SE. Cool. And yeah, and that's the future direction. We're mm -hmm. converging the SE and ME platform, so it makes sense that things would work yeah. on, on so both I, platforms I have universally. A little something to show if there's still enough time. Yeah. Yep. Also, basically, so basically, what is interesting is that also the money JSR, though officially filed as a SA or standalone JSR, mm -hmm. is from the API side also capable for running on ME. We avoided every references to Java Mouth, Java Text, and such stuff. Cool. Hmm? So you tried to keep the profile as small as possible yes. so it would fit yes. in the compact Reducing profiles. Reducing the scope to the minimum. And nice. And uh, the unit API goes even further, uh, the, the JSR for ME, so the ME embedded profile. Uh, has a lot of packages that are optional, and it's the same for the unit API, that a very small core package that contains only a few types, like unit and quantity, that is sort of mandatory, and everything else around it is optional. So if you have a small sensor that uh, doesn't even care about uh, length, but it, also, it only measures the temperature, then you can uh, basically leave aside all the, the optional packages, and only you implement your own type based on unit uh, quantity and measurement, and you can leave everything else aside. For example, if you have uh, some sensor out there that doesn't even have a UI, uh, yeah. also the UI and parsing and formatting, is everything is optional. Awesome. Hmm? All right, so, so you have a little demonstration yeah, on your this laptop. This is uh, based on JavaFX. It's a, it's a part of a, a popular unit converter for Android called uh, FLIP. So you can download that on the Android. Uh, but this is App Store, and this is Java Lib. FX, so that's why it's <laughs> FX Lib. Yeah, nice. uh, it's, it's not it's not exactly as shiny as the Android one, but it demonstrates exactly what what it does. So if you want to convert the length, for example, I think I think this is you know in terms of UIs, you're um, you're right up there with Johann Voss, the very best of them for UI design. Yeah. So uh, as you can see, it's also localized. So the free, the food is already full here because we're in the German locale. So let's convert. I know, two meter, and you yeah. can see, yeah, that, that's, that's six and a half feet, approximately. Cool. And let's just switch over to temperature, because that's probably one of the most beloved conversion problems. So, what do you want, Celsius to Fahrenheit or the other way around? Okay, well, Celsius we are Germany, so let's put Celsius to Fahrenheit. That's fine. Uh, I don't know, what was the temperature this morning? I don't know. I don't know. Probably 10 degrees, something 10 like that. Degrees. So it's 10 degrees Celsius, and as you can see, this is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Awesome. So um, for folks who initially had trouble seeing this, I'm, I'm doing a little stream magic to make it much, much, much bigger so they can actually see the, the FX app now. OK, do one more conversion when the app's actually visible, because yep. now I've made it full screen. OK, well, what else can we do? Mouse bar, yeah, that's, that's also a nice example. Gallons so and liters. Kilogram to, what is this? I think this is stone. What, what is actually the one that's most common in, in the US? You use stone? Pounds. That's LB? Yeah, pounds. Pounds, okay, yeah. So, so, for example, well, well, let, me, let me give you a real take world. about 100 kilogram because that's No, 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 <laughs> I have a real world example. <laughs> So the airline will only let me take 70 pounds on with me. And when I show up here in, in Europe, they, t they, they weigh it in kilograms, so I'm completely clueless. So okay. how many, how many kilograms can I let's take? Let's do 70 pounds 
in kilogram, so that's 31.7. Okay. Uh, 31.7. So if they stop 30. me, yeah, if they stop me at 31, if they stop me at 32 kilograms, they say, "Oh, you're overweight." Then I'll say, "No, no, no, no. It's 70 pounds. It's okay." <laughs> I'll get them on the rounding error between the conversion. Well, we, we have some of that. Uh, so as soon as you have your device with you that is running Java ME embedded, uh, or maybe Java FX, then you can show it to them directly on the airport. I, I bet we could port this to um, RoboVM, get it working on my iPad. Maybe later on we'll do a hack. Mm -hmm. Does the iPad support uh, Java now? Yeah. OK. Yeah, then it will also work on the iPad. Yeah, so we can run the FX lib via RoboVM on an iPad or iPhone, and then I can use it to um, scare the security people away from stealing my video equipment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, so That's that awesome. has just been filed. It's actually the. The, the EC ballot starts today, but uh, given that we have also commercial support by V2Com, uh, they're, they're probably not that, that well known over here, but in Brazil they are one of the leaders uh, in Java embedded and embedded technology. And together with myself and Jean Marie de Troy, who was already co spec lead in GSR 275, he now works for Airbus. And even though he, he doesn't officially represent Airbus at the moment, but of course, uh, what he's doing, there's also certain stuff that Airbus is interested in. So in, in the future, probably uh, Airbus will also tell you uh, in your preferred uh, unit system what the maximum weight of your hand luggage is. Very nice. All right, so we've covered the um, money API and the unit, unit API. API. Anything else you guys want to highlight? Oh, no, I think not for today. I think the only thing that would be possibly mentionable is that uh, I also try to, to drive forward the initiative about Java E configuration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I will have also talked today uh, afterwards with Aaron Gupta and uh, other people that are interesting in, 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 in joining or in, in, in just joining the discussions because if there is no JSR yep. already there. They should ju just contact me and come in, come in contact for that. Very good, very good. So. Well, yeah. I think that'll be a very interesting discussion later yeah. on between Arun and you guys. Mm -hmm. And you can potentially start a new JSR to solve that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Okay. Thanks very much, Anatol. You're welcome. Werner. Yeah. Thanks. And enjoy the rest of the Javelin conference.